I'm Jaya. I'm from Delhi uh, in India and um, I've been in London for about five years now. Um, been a part of the UAL family and um, I have studied graphic and media design uh, in my BA and now I'm pursuing it in my master's as well. I'm really, really interested in um, image and text relations and I'm really, really, um, I look forward to like reading about theory and I inform it with my practice. So I think um, the way I work is, it's like an amalgamation of theory and praxis, essentially. And yeah, I really like graphic design. <laughs> right, so for uh, Tell Us About It, I made um, a book, a publication that spoke about my memories, my lessons learned, and little quips and bits from my experience at LCC, which was brilliant. I loved my time at LCC. And uh, what I thought to do was I split it across five senses. So I had smell, touch, um, sight, and things like that. And um, I just sort of put things that I missed and I remembered into them. Uh, for example, for um, the sight, I think I put uh, drawings of how I remembered, you know, like colors and shapes on the wall. And then I put it on tracing paper, and so that when you turn it, you get to see how the real wall actually looks and how I remembered it. And for one of the smell sections, I, I made like this uh, small picture for ketchup, mustard, and mayo, because I swear the canteen literally smells of ketchup, mustard, and mayo all the time. So yeah, it's, it's just about my experience at LCC, with a few lessons and bits and bobs in there. Um, well, I'm an international student, I'd love to stay back, but currently immigration and the laws. So I think I'll have to go back for a while and then I, I do want to come back. I had no plans of leaving London, to be honest. So right now I'm looking for a sponsor. <laughs> but um, apart from that, uh, I think I would love to come back and um, work here because I feel like I've been trained here for five years. So I'm ready for the industry here. And uprooting that into, a, you know, even though it's my own culture, but uprooting that back to a different culture, a different space, does affect the way you work and things are different. But um, that's something I'll have to do, so I'm taking it in my stride for now. Yeah, um, I'd say that as, as ridiculous as it is, while you're, while you're in uni, definitely start interning side by side, start picking up part-time work, because it's only if you've consistently worked for a company for like six months can you approach them going like, sponsor me now? They're not gonna look at you for a one month intern, they're not gonna sponsor you. So it's really hard to do that while you do BA because it's a full-time course and it's quite intensive. But um, if you want to stay back and you're an international student, especially from like uh, a POC minority culture, you really, really, really have to um, work extra hard. And you know, the two month holiday internships are not enough. You need to just keep at it side by side. And look for sponsors and beg them. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. So there's one of my favorite magazines. It's called Hole and Corner. Hole and Corner. Hole and Corner. Like oh, okay. Hole and Corner. Okay. And uh, it's an art and creative magazine. It has architecture in it as well. And I just really like the aesthetic. I like how they deal with it. And their viewership is, I mean, middle class and above. But um, I just, you know, the, the visual communicator in me just loves their layouts and their image treatment and everything so I'm, I'm actually going to intern with them and I'm hoping to beg them to just sponsor me because I'd love to work for them forever um, so yeah but otherwise there are there are companies that do sponsor you but it's just really hard to get in even Pentagram is a sponsor but it's just really hard <laughs> um, there are many creative that creatives that inspire me but I think the easier way to put it is when I'm when I'm learning, when I'm creating something, the people I refer to, because I refer to projects that are related to mine that would have like, uh, you know, some kind of relation with the subject or a context. And um, then I just go down this rabbit hole where I'm so interested in how they came up with that, how they created their own outcome. So uh, last week I was looking at different kinds of exhibition catalogs that treated the book itself as an object and as an artifact of the exhibition. And um, I looked at uh, Frances Oprichard and her publications that were really nice. One of them does not have details of any of the sculptures that are there in the book. And they're, um, you know, the colors of the rainbow, she sort of organized all the sculptures by color. 
and uh, it's the end pages that just have the printing details and you just sort of, it, it's almost like the book has a personality of its own and you kind of have to interpret the work on its own. It's a really nice book, it's called Every Colour by Itself, in case you want to look at it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, things like that, it's just books, printed media, basically.